loves. So it has been some time um, since we've been here and talking, um, but you've probably seen I've had some videos kind of same background, same clothes, because I decided to just shoot a bunch of videos today um, because I am ready to get back in the game. So I shot like, I think around four or five videos today. Um, but I'm excited to be back here and it's like honestly like 2017 has been super crazy. The first half of the year was just craziness, personal craziness with family and you know, there's, it was just a lot. Um, so thanks for any prayers and support you guys have been sending out our way. Um, and then for the summer it has just been jam packed with events and things back to back to back to back. So um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for all of you that are still watching and still subscribe and still supporting. I appreciate you guys because without you I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Um, and I want to be able to give more to you. Um, so, today I am reviewing the Marc Jacobs palette that was sent to me by Influencer for free. Pretty awesome. Sorry for any noise. I know that um, there's the ACs going on and my dog's moving around, so if it's picking up any crazy noise, I'm sorry about that. Also, if you're here for the first time or if you're revisiting and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and make sure you press the bell. Um, so that you can get notifications and you can know when I'm uploading my next video. So they sent me the Marc Jacobs Iconic um, eyeshadow palette uh, and the shades so far look gorgeous. They look beautiful if you guys can see that. So I think I'm just going to jump into this and play around with it. They also did send a primer so I'm going to go ahead and test out this primer as well. And this is the color Invisible 32. The formula feels pretty soft. It is pretty thick too and very sticky, which is great for a um, eyeshadow primer. But it's not sticky to a point where it gets clumpy. It seems to be blending in nicely to into my lid. I'm gonna start with this shade right here, which is the In Doubt. I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying it to the center of my lid. It seems very, Okay, super shimmery. Um, so it's, it's a really pretty color. I want to be able to try all the shades. But, oh, you know what I'll do is just swatch all of them. Whatever I don't use, I will swatch for you guys. It blends really nicely and super easy. And it seems pretty true to color, um, the way that I see it in the palette showing up on my lid the same way. On camera, it looks a little bit more white than it actually is. So I think the next color I'm going to go in with is this, like, uh, nudie goldish color um, which is called they know who so far I'm loving I, I wish you can see it um, it's like on camera it's it's definitely making it a lot lighter than it is but it's so beautiful and the, the shade has a lot of dimension to it so like on the inner corner it's super it's like super bright and light and then um, the same eyeshadow it, it's still bright over here, but there's more of that, that sea green pigment as opposed to being a lighter, brighter pigment. Then for the second shade that I use, um, it looks a little bit more gold and bright here. And then like in the crease of my eye in the outer corner, it starts to get darker. So like there's dimension, like when you look at it at a certain angle, you can see the different like shading. Um, so I love that about eyeshadows that have that sort of duochromeness to it, that the dual color. Um, it creates more depth and it makes you know putting eyeshadow on a lot easier and simple because you, you, you have to do less essentially. Okay, so let's get a little bit more fun with it. I'm gonna go in with that deeper green shade um, that they have, which is called For Once. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this into my crease. This green is super, super um, pigmented. I like picked up just a little bit and it like super rich, super dark. Um, and again, keep in mind the camera and the lights are making it seem a lot lighter than it is because it's it's super rich. Okay, I'm loving how this is coming out. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go back into that, that light green from before and just blend out the edges slightly. And right above that, I'm gonna go in with that matte, um, the matte light shade, which is color whatever the one that I broke and I'm gonna put that right into the highlight with my brow bonus and to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow and it blends out really nicely like it doesn't blend out to a point where so like 
here's two things I usually hate about eyeshadows when they when you blend it. What well, either they don't blend and they sort of stay in one place, or if they do blend, they blend too much and it like gets like muddy looking. This seems to blend the perfect amount. I love the in doubt shade, so I'm gonna try to go ahead and bring this out a little bit. We're gonna play around with this shade, sort of like use it as a highlighter-ish type of thing and have it like go out a little bit more. Sorry if I'm sounding like a weirdo. Go in with that green again and the smaller brush just sort of get the, get my lash line. Okay, so I am loving it. It looks beautiful. Like honestly, camera is not doing any justice right now. Um, the primer, eh, I could do without, but the eyeshadows, they're gorgeous. I am loving them. They look so pretty. Um, they blend really nicely, super pigmented. And I want to just go check myself out in the mirror in the bathroom right now because it's different lighting and looks more natural lighting. Um, I just look so glowy because I, I remember I had brought out the, um, the in dye eyeshadow, which is this one, a little alongside um, the upper part of my cheekbone and around here. Looks super like. I don't know, like glowy mermaid. Um, so you can even use that as a highlight. Uh, really beautiful shades. Very just, the way it blends out is so creamy. It looks very um, romantic. Okay, so I just finished swatching all of them on my arm and this is just after one swipe. So they're pretty pigmented. They're really pretty shades. Sorry, I like did it at like a weird angle. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you can see, like they're all super, super, super pigmented, really opaque shades. Um, I did notice though that the texture of all of them weren't fully the same. I feel like the the electric blue one, what that one was called, oh yeah, um, power platforms. And then this last one over here on the end um, called runs the show. So this shade and um, the blue shade, these two shades, are super buttery soft and creamy, more creamier than the rest of them. Um, but they're all really opaque shades, they're all really vibrant, um, and they blend really nicely. So over, overall, like all in all, this palette is beautiful, it's amazing. Um, I love the shades, I love, I really, really, really love this shade. I didn't get to use it on my eye today, but I can't wait to use it because it's so, first of all, the color just, it grabbed my attention. Um, it's really pigmented, um, and it's really buttery soft, like super, super soft. So all in all, the palette is amazing. Definitely two thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. And make sure you hit that bell for notifications so you know when I'm uploading my next video because I am aiming to bring out more beauty videos and more fashion videos. Love you guys, and until next time, bye. Mwah.